<clears throat> All right, everyone. Again, Frank DeMora with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. And uh, this is December the 7th, 2011. Now, if you're brand new to my YouTube channel, you just discovered me, I would request and just to ask you, please visit my website, www.bibleprophecyman.com. And when you're there, you'll be able to access my book for free. It's a uh, documentary on Bible prophecy and current events. And as I said, you can download it right now today for free with no strings attached. This is going to be a short video, but I just wanted to show you some new information that I got a kick out of. And uh, first of all, I want you to look at Daniel 12.4 because this is the prophecy that I'm going to be connecting here. It says this, but you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. All right, so we have two things to look at here. Number one, well, actually three. Daniel was told to shut up the words, all right? In other words, he's going to seal them. They weren't going to be uh, released. They weren't going to be understood, right? Now, and seal the book until the time of the end. So if he was told to shut up the world, the words, and it wasn't going to be revealed until the time of the end, and Jesus shows us what the time of the end is in Matthew chapter 24, in Luke chapter 21, in Mark chapter 13, when he shows us all of the signs that we're going to be looking for, or the signs that he told us to look for in those three chapters, knowing that when we saw those signs, it would be the end. We know that the birth pangs would begin, and then the end would come, and then finally it would be uh, the culmination of when the Lord comes back, riding on that white horse to come back at the end of the tribulation. So these words are supposed to be unsealed or released when we are told, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Now, we know for a fact, and if you have any scientist friends or relatives, or you can do a Google search for a scientist, you write them, and they will confirm that our generation in the last 50 years has gained more knowledge than any generation at any time in the history of man in just 50 years. It's common knowledge that our generation is known as the generation of increased knowledge. So we know that the Word of, of God in Daniel 12.4 was specifically meant for us, and that means that since we are the increased in knowledge, knowledge generation, the seals or the, the increase of knowledge has been brought out to us and we can now understand it's no longer sealed up. And people, as we know in our generation, are, are traveling back and forth more so than any time in history because of the advance of computers, the advance of the technology that helped make these very specific uh, uh, aircraft that travel at uh, speeds unheard of. So all of these things are pointing to us in our generation. Now what I'd like to do is give you an example of uh, what, our <clears throat> what our generation has come up with. Uh, this is the Los Angeles Times. You'll see this came out a couple days ago on December 5th. South Korean robot prison guards R2-D2 may be not the Terminator. And this is coming from Seoul. Think of it's more than R2-D2 than a Terminator. South Korea is ready to wheel out its latest weapon in the war against crime. A five-foot-tall, four-wheeled prison guard robot that will patrol the behind bars, hallways, and penal institutions, even access the mental state of prisoners. This won't be just another guard to join the team. There will be no breaks, no demands for higher pay, no unprovoked attacks, and not even a chance of accepting a bribe. As South Korea battles Japan for supremacy in the robot technology, designers have invented what they call a term of friendly robots that will not just guard prisoners, but keep an eye on, the, on their well-being at boot. 
witness the smile etched in, a, in the boxy white head of the lumbering body of exudes more than Elmo than Executor. The Ministry of Justice, which developed the robots under the consultation of the South Korean Research Group and their nearby university, has said the project will cost 864000 and will be launched in a jail in the city of Pohang and month long trial starting in March. So there you go. You have what we perceived as from a long time ago from Star Wars. We actually see these things coming into fruition, being used for the purposes of jails. And this could only happen, this could only happen in one generation, and that is our generation. Now you can either believe it or not, but the Lord told us the unveiling or the getting, it's not going to be sealed up anymore and it's not sealed up. And if it's not sealed up, that means we are very close to seeing the Lord Jesus Christ. And that, my friends, is good news. Only, only if you're ready to see him. If you're not ready to see him, you better accept him today so that you can have your path uh, made straight into heaven and without that you won't be going to heaven you will be going to hell so uh, it's going to be hard for many to take knowing that uh, somebody is saying you're going to go to hell but the Lord showed us that anybody who does not receive Jesus Christ as their Savior uh, will not have eternal life we see this in the book of John where he says you must be born again that spirit in you without Jesus being your Savior is dead and if it's dead then the only thing that will happen to you is no life, eternity uh, with the Lord Jesus. You will find your eternity in a lake of fire. So our job is to stop you where you are, to think about what, where you're going. And uh, if you choose not to receive Jesus Christ, you can only blame yourself from sending yourself to hell because you've condemned yourself not believing the Savior of the world who came down to die for you and die for me. So please... Just think about what you're learning about from the scriptures, and I pray that the Holy Spirit would help you to see the light. Thanks.